No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Hey beauties, what's going on? My name is Larice and I am one of the founders of beyondbody.com. So today I am making this video because I want to talk to you about how to go about getting your website name, your domain name is what it's called, that www.something.com.org.net. That is what I wanna to talk to you about. So for all you entrepreneurs or um, business owners or people that are looking to get into business but do not know where to start, I want to start here and give you this helpful piece of information. So let me share my screen really quick. So as you can see, I am here on Namecheap. But before we even get into this, I want to share with you, there are plenty of um, websites that you can go to to get your domain name. This is just the one that uh, Crystal and I have used for our beyondbody.com. There's godaddy.com, domain.com, buydomains.com, and Namecheap. But again, there are way more than that. Those are just a few that I wanted to name for you here in this video. So once you figure out what your um, business is going to be called, then you want to come for the sake of this video, you want to come over to Namecheap and type in that name of your business. You know, um, for example, ours is Beyond Body. So we came over and we typed in Beyond Body. But since beyondbody.com is already taken, let's think of something else. We can just say Curly Hair Girl. Curly Hair Girl, that's the name of my business, Curly Hair Girl. So I would type in curly hair girl and then search. So then um, Namecheap will pull up all the ones that are available to you. So curlyhairgirl.com, that is $870. That's a lot for a domain name, you guys. So we would not want to pick that one unless you want to spend $870. So um, we also have curlyhair.net, which is only $11.98 a year. So, you know, as you can see, there's .net, .dev, and all these other ones, but a rule of thumb you want to stay away from like the .ai, .so, .dev. You know, you want to stick with .com uh, or .org, you know, if you're an organization, .org, .net. But anything outside of that, you know, you want to stay away from because people are used to the .coms and the .orgs. They're familiar with that. So when you come out with something else that's not familiar, then, you know, they wonder if you're really legit or not. And so they might not want to buy from you because they're not sure, you know, if this is going to be a scam, if you're a real legit business. So, you know, just a rule of thumb, stick with the .coms, .net, and .org. Um, so again, you know, you only have to renew your domain name once a year. So you pay, say for example, you went and got a domain name today, you would pay, you know, for example, the $11.98 right here, and then you're good for the whole year. And so each year you would renew it, you know, if your business is still up and running, if you want to keep it, or, you know, if you end up changing your name, then of course you would not renew it and you would try to find something else. Um, also, the reason why I said, you know, for example, my new business name is Curly Hair Girl, and you would want to look for a domain name with the business because you don't want to confuse people. You want to stay congruent. Your business wouldn't be called Curly Hair Girl, but then your domain name is um, probiotics.com. You know what I mean? Like it, it has to be congruent with what you're doing and what your your the name of your business or the name of your company is. So hopefully you found this video informative and I will be coming to you more often, more frequently with more videos. And so stay tuned and make sure if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to our channel and 
hit that uh, bell notification. So every time we upload a new video, either myself or Crystal, or maybe you will see us together in videos, you will be notified and so you can watch it. Stay tuned, take care, stay safe. We love you, peace.